Big time stage for the Undisputed Era. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 397 pounds. Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly, the Undisputed Era. We've got a huge tag team match coming up. And both these teams coming in tonight looking to make a statement, which means we might see these two teams do things we've never seen them do in the past. Both legal men are in the Man. ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. I wonder if we'll see any underhanded tactics from Bobby Fish here tonight. Saxton, you're confusing Ooh. underhanded tactics with Bobby Fish's natural talent and rugged grit. Oh, that's unnecessary. Crashing down the hard way. Whip. Tag made. We've seen some great chemistry from this team here, Michael. Yeah, incredible chemistry. Oof. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard. The heart attack from the Hart Foundation. The rocker dropper from the Rockers or the Doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action like in singles competition once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher that should signal the beginning of the end it can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher but i agree a team needs one and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent that's when a finishing move is truly effective and since we're talking about tag teams remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move for him there. He wants no part of the outside. When this guy's on, look out. He's starting to stumble here. His tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a very big mistake. Mark my words. 
Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team Title Tournament in the final. Setting it up. Down, Brain Buster. The damage has been done, and the odds just swung in Kyle O'Reilly's favor. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. On, he dodges out of the way. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. This might be it. Oh, my. Counter here. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Wow. His partner wants back in. Yeah, but what you want and what you get are often two very different. Th what a strike. What a comeback. Kyle O'Reilly's chance is just the cover. One. And he breaks the pin. Hooked up. Oh, a shit breaker. Try walking after that one. You gotta believe this one's over. cliche but it's true here it ain't over till it's over he's making a statement here with this attack we've seen some great tag team action over the years here in wwe and i can attest that this is no different he's fighting back here i expected nothing less cole Oh boy, he is rolling. Got the reversal. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Another great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. Oh boy, he is rolling. Vicious strike. Hooked up. Ooh, what impact. The tag team scene here in WWE is undergoing a bit of a renaissance, and it's because of action like this. Avoids trouble there. Boom, what impact! He has him right where he wants him. He can't withstand one bit more. Ah, oh, they'll... If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. Clearly going for it all with a move. He's going for the pen. The pen's broken up. And the instinct from Fish on display. So quick. Comes in off the tag. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between... Wow, I thought he was a goner. O'Reilly just barely getting out of the way. And that one grounds him. 
I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense. He looks beautiful technique. That should do it. He's got the shoulders down. A win like that says a lot about a duo. Let's look back on the action from the last match. Check him out here. He's getting after it here. He ain't playing here. And this is how he ended it. Here are your winners, Jay Storm O and Max Daniel. That's it for this tag team match, and what a thrilling match it was. These two work so well together, Michael. I'd be surprised if they went their separate ways anytime soon. And it looks to me like our winner is already thinking about the next match. Always one step ahead.